Get up now, Chan Diggity. Alright. All right. We'll see you later. Well, I played wait, at some point. I assume. I played. I'll go live. What kind of mental. Start. There it is, okay. I assume. I played. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right source, which should be here. Alright, okay, we're I'm gonna get up and what if, before this. Probably what if that. somebody like streams from the crowd and gives like a perspective of the looking crowd POV. That and they mean, screen share? I mean And Chan captures that instead of me. Would anybody be down to screen share from the crowd who is here? I feel like who all is there? Is Bitslap there? Bitslap is here, but he's doing other things, and so is Glue. Okay, okay, okay. What if I get all of on? It's kind of a boring test, so I don't even ask all of it, even though he has good stream quality. <laughs> Better stream quality. What are you talking about? Are you gonna get all of this stream the thing? Yeah, I was that like, could be a good idea. <laughs> I think somebody streaming from like the crowd would be like cool. All right, here we go. If you would but, be yeah. down to, yeah. We're getting ready. We're almost there. And once Chan gets his stream set up, we're gonna start doing a little bit of Q and A about the draft. More accurately, I'm gonna ask him what his top five picks are, and for him to explain them. But, you know, I'm probably going to do the same thing. I'm weird. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. <sighs> Welcome back. Take joke, make sure my stream's not playing multiple times. Might be a good idea. Okay. Here we go. I'm asking all of if he wants to stream it from the crowd, Jen, or like, um, <laughs> like Discord stream from the crowd, okay. and then just like, you can share that POV instead of um, mine. Ooh, fair, fair. Yeah, I have the scene set up, so you can just uh, join at any time. Alright. Okay, he's not able to. Yep. GG. It's fine. I thought your perspective's fine. It's just the compression's gonna be a little bit bad, and that we can get around <laughs> that. Yeah. Make it no, it's fine now. It was just. Uh... Of the shader thing. Alright, T minus four mess into live. Wait, I have I to have ask before just real quick. Why did Cody, why don't you just stream? <laughs> uh it's just Chan wants to Yeah, uh, we're funneling to Chan. Also I haven't streamed in forever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm I want here the for popularity and reviews. True. <laughs> I'm just streaming so that way I have an excuse to record my POV for the draft. Bro, okay, hold on. I just realized if I get picked for the draft, then <laughs> I'm not going to be there. You don't have to. Yeah, not everyone's going to be there. So it's yeah. fine. Um. Does anybody want to get on the house scene and just like teleport people onto the stage? Uh, if they get picked, if they are in the house. All right, 20 minute warning. 20 minute warning, bro, it's 18 minute warning. What? Is my Did I fix my clock at some point? It's, it's always been two minutes ahead. And it's always bothered me. It's 42 for me right now. 
I'm just dumb then. Wow. I actually, I guess I no, but slam. I don't think it is. All right. Let's. I'm gonna get ready in the chair. All right. I gotta start my replay mod up. I don't know why I would do it though. It's literally just us sitting in a chair. Yeah. Alright. Tell me when you go live, and then we'll start doing the whole talk yep. about the top five picks, who we think is going to go, etc. Okay. etc. I'm actually going to go live right now, but it'll be on starting soon, so. Alright. Alright. Remind me to unmute Discord when I say, okay? Alright. Hey, would any of the gamers here want to do the, um, teleporting? That might be a little bit important. Yeah. Uh, like, because I know Bitsop and Glue's keeping track of... Um, is the Mahi picks is like Mahito, yeah, Mahito, Sky, Tama, any of you on the high pixel right now? Sorry, my headphones not working. Sky says that they can. Hi, I'm on the high okay. pixel. Okay. What, what do you want me to do? So, I'm pretty sure Cody's gonna give you the permissions to teleport people, and once they get yeah. selected in owner chat, uh, just teleport them backstage so that way you can walk on, uh, walk on the stage with Cody. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Wait, who was that who agreed to it? So I can get perms. Hi, Tama. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, He said his name in chat, you're good. I'm hunting. I'm hunting for you. There you go. Okay, you should be able to do it now. You can also game mode one, the creative one. I'm waiting for him to pull out the TNT. <laughs> so true. Alright. When you teleport him, just teleport him out like behind this door and then they can walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> There's like... <laughs> Not even a room. <laughs> the corner. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I don't get a room, corner. man. They didn't pay for the room. I was like, oh, there's a whole backstage. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, we worked really hard on the on the budget cuts. Yeah, they, they just they just went crazy. Okay, I got it. I got it. I know how it works. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Did I make us? Uh, wait, never mind. I'm stupid. The announcer team is ready. Everything good on your end, Cody? Uh, yeah, I think good. All um, right, I'm going to switch soon. Scenes here soon. Turn down music. All right, switching scenes in three, two, one. Hello, hello, welcome to the. IBL Season 1 Draft. I am joined here with my co-host. Dude, I'm here. We made it. Chat Yo. We're here with the Season 1 IBL Draft. Um, lots of exciting things going on today. It is the start of the IBL. It's the start of history. You know, memories will be made. Times will be had. And yeah, legacies sure. will be created. The first season of the first competitive esports league is about to happen for Minecraft. It, there's there's a lot to be excited about here, and we've got some good coverage, and hopefully we'll be getting the best players in the entire league in the top ten right here. And I think I'm pretty optimistic for it to happen, Chan. Yeah, for sure. Um, just like to say welcome everyone in the chats. Uh, I know if you guys um, aren't already, you can join on Hypixel. Um, Hypixel is being silly right now because it's not letting me or dude log on. So our commissioner, D Cody, has his perspective, which we'll tune to soon. If you guys would like to join the join the official live stage, um, check the announcements in the IBL, and remember, to, if you guys aren't already, join the IBL Discord, discord.gg slash IBL. And remember, um, drop a follow or subscribe to Dude if you guys are in either of our chats. Yep. Um, first pick, let's talk about who do you think is going first overall? So, my predictions, uh, I've got a whole prediction chart for, my, for me already set up, and I've got yours ready, don't worry. But, my predictions come out to pretty much... Number one overall, undeniably, has to be Atomic Cherry. One of the most infamous solo queue players, the best by themselves. And then in number two, you've got to go Mass Marvelous. Probably one of the most charismatic people who can work with a team. I do want to say for number three, I have to put Koi just because of skill. I don't know if they'll work well with their teams. That's really just going to come to time. But then you also have at number four, Behavior, very similar to Atomic Cherry in the fact that they are very capable in solo queue. And then finally at number five, just due to the fact that Blocky's mini combines, he showed up to three, and in all three, he showed up and showed out. And at the full combine, he was unarguably one of the best players along with Kami. Yes, amazing, amazing picks. Um, diving into my top five, and it's kind of unfortunate. I'm predicting the top five, and I get the sixth pick. I'm selecting six overall, Divine Rising. Um, my number one... I have arguably the um, MCC Island Battlebox GOAT. Mass Marvelous has proved they can be not just a melee player, they're a good melee player, but they have that range game like no other. Um, I don't think any other player comes close to the range game like Mass Marvelous. There's a lot of heavy sword headers in this draft, which is why I think Mass's unique skill set will put them at number one. Uh, I completely agree with that, Chan. Who do you have at number two? Number two... I have um, 
a player who was number one on the kills leaderboard for a lot of closed beta. Um, I forget what tier they are in Sword, but it's X Koi. Koi, I consider one of the best players of today's game. Um, every time they are in solo queue, I, I do agree. I don't know how well the team setting, but when it comes to the solo queue experience, they dominate every lobby they are in. I couldn't agree more. Uh, for number yes. three, at my number three, at my number three, open beta not close. Ah, sorry, Koi. Um, at number three, I have Atomic Cherry. Um, same reason as you said. Um, it, it's crazy. It's crazy how. Uh, okay, chat. Don't make fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. At number three, I have Atomic Cherry. It absolutely dominates any lobby they're in. Um, honestly, I could interchange any of these top three. You could have an argument for anyone. Any of the top five, um, arguably, are interchangeable. It's really where they exactly. fall. This is just our predictions, chat. Yes, and it, it depends what the team owners want. And uh, number four, another player similar to uh, Atomic, we have Blocky. Blocky, Blocky, I queued into Blocky twice uh, the other day, and I have never gotten destroyed so hard. And that's why I think they're going to be an elite pick and an elite player in this team, in this league. I agree with that, and another thing for Blocky is that I have se I have never seen a more well-rounded player when it comes to Blocky, at least when it comes to healing, because he is going to be in a high demand role. Healer is going to be high demand in IBL because there's not going to be a lot of those players that are good at playing it, and Blocky did it multiple times in Combine and showed up and showed out on how he could do it. Exactly. Healer is going to be the make or break for teams. There's not a lot of high projected healers, but... You know, in the, when we get to the second, third, fourth, maybe even fifth rounds, if there's a good healer available, if uh, coaches can train them right, um, I think they will be the make or break for a team season. I completely agree. Yeah, and uh, closing out the number five, I have, um, this is a little, goes a little bit of a shocker, Behavior. Now, Behavior has the talent, but one thing they don't have is the communications. They said they are a mute player. Um... <laughs> don't redeem stop talking I'm, I'm not gonna do it this is the official ibl broadcast come on guys um anyways um yes behavior one of one of the um obviously most elite talents here um if it was for communication you could argue them at number one but because of that i have them a little lower um i can yeah what are your thoughts on behavior as a player behavior as a player is it's hard to dissect because b is interesting b is one of the most I, I honestly, I have no other word. Interesting players, because when you get into close range with B, B will create you out. B can combo. B can do it all. B can do range. B can do spark combat. B can do orb, orb lineups, everything. B can heal as well. The problem with B is, as you said, it comes to communication. Every other member of the top f of the top five has done comms. They did comms in mini combines. They did comms in other things. Even Koi does comms. Problem with behavior is it comes down to comps and I I see where you're coming from for pick number five yes and just because we're not talking about a player in this top five um doesn't mean they don't deserve it there is so much elite talent in this uh draft class and it's going to make for an exciting season um so team um Stuffed But Tough has the number one overall pick. I'm excited to see what their team's going to be like. I'm excited to see. Um, we have Australian um, management there, so we'll see how that works out for scheduling. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited. I am. This is going to be an amazing season, an amazing draft. And remember, chat, if you guys aren't already in the IBL Discord, uh, join up. Um, it's too late, unfortunately, to join us for this season, but you can join for season two. And I also encourage everybody join up for season two because we're going to have a developed league. Season one is a little bit more experimental. We're trying to figure out, we're trying to find our stride, and we're trying to see what players are going to pop off, what players are going to be the guys that lead their teams. Yes, of course. I completely agree. Anything else? Um, D. Cody, I notice um, you're in the booth right now. Uh, let's um, take it over to you. Yo, no way. I'm in the booth. Booth. Uh, yeah, we're just here. We're live on the high pixel housing scene. We're living our best life that you can see all the names of the people behind me. This is the stage. We're on a boat. We're in a boat in Venice. And you know, we, we went all out on the budget for location. This first one. All right. Um, we're just waiting to get the number one draft pick in and yeah. Whenever, yes, we get the, whenever we get to go, we'll be ready to start this. Yes, the timer will start in three minutes. Um, Spasms has the number one overall pick. They can start deciding. They can even let us know the pick whenever. 
Uh, for any owners tuning in, um, remember to send your picks into um, the Draft Picks channel and Owners channel, by the way. Also, Chan, you should work me real quick because I got AFK kicked. I got AFK kicked? Oh, I got AFK kicked too. Let's go! Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, awesome. um. This is good. This Let's is go, good chat. Draft Picks was popping off, so now we're getting AFK kicked on MCCI. True, true. We gotta have to move around. Oh, let me. You're finding the spot, I imagine. And you're able to warp me. Yeah. Just uh, make me the party okay. leader again. Oh, you're party leader. No, I made, I made you party leader. Because I thought you didn't get Oh, kicked. you. Oh, I did. Uh, okay. Uh, dude. I'm score two. This is not a scuff stream, chat. This is not a scuff not stream. Not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, another thing, though, we are entering the final countdown into the picks, and I do want to say, there's a little bit of leaks when it comes to spams. The man has talked briefly about three people, and it's Koi, Atomic, and B, and it's really surprising to me that they didn't even mention Moss. I think Moss could still go, but based on rumors, based on what I've heard, I don't know if Moss is going to be the first overall pick. And that's just crazy to me. That's just wild to me. Obviously, it, it can go either way, but Mass not even uh, being considered for that top draft spot is um, a little crazy if they were here now. Awesome. All right. uh, okay, I get the seat this time? Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Um, all right. One minute until the timer starts. I never added a timer widget because that would require a lot of setup. And um, we are not scuffed here. We are not scuffed. Only mildly so. It's fine. Yeah. Chat, who do you guys think will be the number one pick? Let us know right now. Spasms is online. Spasms is in our VC, so. If Spasms is here, do not worry. I want to hear your guys' predictions. Let us know. We got one for Mass. I also do want to say, it's it's tough to not include some other people here. Like, you've got uh, PRTSM or Prism, if you want to call them that, and Zulu, both astounding players, both constantly predicted to go in the top 10 they could also go at number one it's it really yes. does come down to what does the team owner want what kind of synergy are they looking for for their team what kind of culture are they going to want to build exactly and the timer has started now so spasms is on the clock there will be a rough two minute timer um for pick predictions hello it is me it is spasms. Oh, spasms! You're supposed to DM it. You're supposed to DM. You're supposed to. You're supposed to send it in uh, draft picks in owners chat. No, owners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've, been, I've been kicked now. All right, yes, draft picks in owners chat. <laughs> Disaster right. avoided. Then, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then um, we have a couple staff who will verify the pick, and yeah. Um, some other notable names we have. People are saying Mudman Son re-rented. Um, also great, also great. I boy. agree with Mudman Son, one of the best close range players. Combo centric. The man is amazing with map control. One of the best in the game. But the problem is he's not as well known as some people think. A lot of the team owners that I've talked to haven't mentioned Mudman Son at all. And I'm a little bit confused by that because the man is arguably more talented than I am. And I, I think the man should go in the top 20. You're a player in this draft, correct, dude? I am, yes. Uh, where do you think you'll, where do you think you'll get picked up? I think round three, if I'm very optimistic, maybe round two, but I'm just saying, I'm, I, I may or may not have gotten 10,000 kills or something in the last week or so. I don't know. Oh wow, man, uh, man has been on his so. grind. I definitely see you as the second or third round, not gonna lie. I definitely see you uh, still being a uh, almost um, confirmed IBL player. And for those who don't know, there is um, three different types of players that will be um, able to be here, um, able to join the league. There will be IBLers, two wayers, and B leaguers. So before we only had 50 uh, players able to uh, make the league, but- And it was, um, it was not as inclusive as I'm assuming you or Cody wanted. So we decided to expand into a B League, which is going to include anyone who gets drafted at all and a potential free agent. So 
even if you didn't get into this season, free agency is still a thing. You can still get picked up by a team if you show up and show out in lobbies that they see you in. Maybe they want to pick you up. It's a possibility you can play in the B-League and then make your way all the way up to the IBL. We are here for that story. Exactly. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, even if you go undrafted today, uh, there's still a chance that you guys can... Um, uh, be to make the league. Um, if you if you have not signed up for the draft, uh, you can have to join as a prospect for season two. If you do sign up for a, uh, if you have signed up, um, you can. Um, I'm summing a lot today. If you have signed up, uh, you can have an option if you go undrafted, to join season two as a prospect again, or join season one as a free agent. Um, we have not received the pick yet. Uh, I hope everything is good on the staff's end. Um. If the mods are able to send the confirmed into the staff general, so just take I'm, the pick from draft picks, send I'm it in staff some general. I'm getting here, Chan, that it is, it is one that's shaking up our predictions a little bit. Oh, and really? I'm, 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 I'm not going to say the name, because I could be wrong. It could be unconfirmed. I'm getting a couple of reports, but we'll see here. But it could be someone entirely not even in uh, our top three rank rankings. For sure, for sure. Okay, D uh, Commissioner D. Cody has the pick. Commissioner All right. D. Cody. Hello. Right. All right. Me. All right. Let me ask for scenes. And I have this. Are you not going up? You got to go up to the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're on your way there. All right. As we watch this, Commissioner D. Cody is now making his way up to the stage to announce the first ever IBL Who is this guy? pick number one overall. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, security, 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 security. <laughs> Get him off the stage. Get him off the stage. All right. Okay. Um. So with the first team. pick of the IBL draft, team stuffed with tough but tough is taking behavior. Wow. Absolutely. Absolute shocker. Wow. The number one, the number overall, one overall, pick. overall pick. Behavior. As I said, big upside on behavior. One of the most talented. And everybody in the top 10, arguably interchangeable when it comes to skill. But the problem with behavior that I am going to point out constantly is communication. How is B going to communicate with their team properly? Definitely a hurdle yeah. we're going to have to overcome there. Definitely. Very looking forward to how... Um... Um, stuff with tough builds around behavior because obviously they're not going to pick again until draft pick number 20 in the second round. So, um, with that being a number one overall pick, they're going to have to pick a good underrated leader at the number two or even round three. Absolutely. Um, two minutes on the clock. Who is who's who's next? Uh, As behavior says in chat, <laughs> this is a mistake and I feel bad for my team. I disagree. <laughs> you should feel good. You did get picked first overall. You definitely made a good impression when Team Stuff with Tough. And I absolutely think you could make a big, big splash in IDL. It's really down to yes. how you communicate with your team and how you set up that culture. You're the first overall pick. You're the leader. You're going to have to set that pace. Yes, I absolutely agree. Um, behavior, obviously an immense talent. Uh, only downside is um, their communications and if they had communications i think they could potentially even be a lock they, they more than likely um, would have been a lock for top three for me if they communicated but i put b as pick number four because they're still one of the most talented players that communication yes, i absolutely agree just, and i would invite them on i would invite them to stage for a uh interview but, but what we course, are literally uh, talking about is why we're not yeah exactly <laughs> Um, coming up number next at number two, we have Cooking with Grease um, on the clock now. Um, wh what direction do you think Cooking with... What do you think uh, Arby's... What, what direction does Arby's go into? So I haven't had much communication with Arby's by comparison to Team Stuff with Tough. And uh, I also haven't had as much communication with the next team up to pick either Hang 10. But I do want to say, the way Arby's has been talking in chat, it's more that they're looking for... They're looking for a steal here. They want these sleeper picks. They want... They want to take from Mello. And I've seen that in chat a couple of times, that Mello is wanting to go for these uh, these sleeper picks, these people who are unproven but have so much potential. I think Arby's might go the same way here. We could see a complete shakeup of yeah, the top sure. five. And the pick is in if uh, D. Cody is ready to uh, announce. <laughs> one turn, one turn, one turn. Here we go. 
Okay, 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 okay. So the second pick of the IBL draft going to uh, cooking from Greece, cooking with Greece. I, I'll get one of the names right eventually. Is T Snaz. Wow. Wow, okay. Wow. Not even predicted by many people to go in the top 20. Snaz f finds themselves as the number two overall pick. Wow. Wow. Uh, uh, two people barely cracking my top five. Obviously, T Snaz was probably considered the Battle Box GOAT at one point. Absolutely. I completely um, agree. One of the uh, early open beta players that I think dominated the game to the fullest extent absolutely. of their ability. I have to say. Don't, going with past dominance instead of going with a little bit more recent and proven talent is a risk, but I, I respect the risk that Arby's is taking, and I respect that they are going full full ahead of steam into this season. Yes, and uh, T-Snaz is absolutely a leader, too. T-Snaz definitely has the knowledge to lead their team, teach uh, maybe the younger, the, the lesser next players. I'm just saying. The next generation of players. Yes, absolutely a good pickup. Um, I definitely had T-Snaz going, um, probably late first with, um, them being kind of an older talent. Uh, they'd absolutely still dominate T-Snaz pronouns. I do not know. I think No he, idea. I'm not too sure. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna um, say they are, amazing pick. they are them. They are them. Exactly. Completely. Uh, I do want to say absolute, uh, I did a little bit of research on, uh, a couple of players for the top 10. And Snaz was one of the people I did research on. I have to say, range, not their strong suit, but they do have good aim. They're capable with non with kits that aren't sharpshooter. As by comparison, they are really good with the bow. They're really good at slowing down their shots, taking their time, and absolutely playing well. Of course. I'm very excited to this. Now, a couple notable players still on the board. Koi, Maz, Blocky. As someone who has a six overall pick, I am... Um... Very excited. Um, Sneezaz does. T Snaz. T Snaz <laughs> does use he/him pronouns. Um, right. for anyone who's wondering. Um, all right. Um, obviously we have now have Hang Ten owned by Dom. No, I. Um, with the third one. overall pick. I'll be honest. Um, I have no Dom idea. on the clock. Uh, remember Dom to send your pick into. Uh, how many picks there are there? Uh, ten each. Remember to send your pick into the respective chat. How has Master Coin not been taken yet? This has been a shocking draft so far. Absolutely. I'm not saying it's bad, but obviously everyone had Mass and Koi high up on their list, and me included. I, I'm surprised we haven't seen Atomic Cherry, we haven't seen Moss, we haven't seen Koi. If we don't see either any of these three, I'm thinking that these low the people who are lower on in the draft, they're gonna get some steals. Yes, I absolutely agree. And as as I said, um Um someone someone who has a number six overall is Definitely looking this. <laughs> You're really looking at this, watching very I'm, closely. I'm, I'm liking this so far. I am liking this so far. Um, we do not have a live draft. We have a private draft board. Um, wait, I could probably... I could probably actually share this. I'm getting news what the pick second. is, and it is... It's a, it's an interesting one. And I support it entirely. I think this will help uh, Hang Ten a lot, this pick. But we're probably going to be going... After the pick is confirmed, we'll be going to decode here in a minute. Yes, and I just sent the official draft list into um, into my chat, so if anyone wants to see the official order, um, that is there. And like 10 people just drawn that, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, waiting on staff. Um, if staff has any issues, waiting let me on know. Confirmation here. Yes. Hey, I also just got word of the pick, which is still an interesting pick. I think it's a good pick, though. I do still think it's a good pick. Chat, who do you guys think is going next? Thank you, everyone, for the follows, by the way. I don't have alerts on, so... Munmansun, Nightseeker. Ujum predicting themselves. Make sure you're moving around, by the way, a little bit, Chan. Um, yep. Uh, do that. Um, is everything good staff-wise? We shall see. We're taking a little bit extra time. We still have- they still have time on the clock. They still have plenty of time. 
couple, about 30 seconds left on the clock, I believe. Yes, is, um... Is glue and bit slap um, already? Because I, 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 I have rumors of the pick too. I just want to see if they uh, can confirm it. Just remember to send it from draft picks into the staff channel so you guys can confirm. If it happens if someone runs out of time, uh, probably nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, decoding. Darn, we just wait a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. All right. The pick is in. Decody, are you ready to announce? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. We go to right. Decody. With the. Live on the stage. With the number three pick in the IBL draft, Hang Tin is choosing Blocky. Beautiful Absolute pick. dominant force. I dominant get force. Yeah. Entirely. Yeah. Um, number one. Yeah, I really, I think Blocky will blend well with um, the vision Dom has for Hang Ten. I, I'm um, just I saying, think this is an absolute Dom amazing. Dom did pick. just pick Blocky, who's. Whose skin is a bird or a penguin, which kind of goes well with the water theme that Don's going for. I'm just saying. Exactly. All right. Next up, we have Wolfpack, owned by the British man Alex Count X. Alex uh, asked me before the draft how the draft works. So. Um, uh, that's we'll see. Uh, we'll that's see. a good sign. Great sign. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, the EU um, sports leagues are a lot different than um, American sports leagues. So I, I do want to um, say, Alex when it is comes on the clock. to American sports leagues versus uh, European, when it comes to esports at least, I don't want to be that guy because I am American, but European tends to dominate NA. All right. Um... Just say. Yes, I, I just got a rumor. I just got a rumor of the pick. I just uh, had my... Um... Had my uh, sources hit me up, and wow, this is interesting. Int <laughs> Every pick is interesting, Chad. Every pick is interesting. Every pick is interesting. Okay, the pick is in. I didn't even switch scenes. Let me. Uh... Pick number four. All right, Decody. We go to Decody. Okay, okay. With the number four pick of the IBL draft, uh, the Wolfpack <laughs> picks Kioi. <laughs> Yo, one All of the right. most dominant forces. Um, fell a little bit than what I expected, but hey, still a top four pick. And honestly, well, I, do I say... see Koi helping out um, Alex a lot. Koi has a lot of experience in this game. Alex, more of the ownership type player, not much of a battle boxer. Um, I could see Koi being an amazing team leader. I, I get behind that. And I do want to say this is one of the safest picks you could have made. As far as skill goes, there is almost nobody who I think can outdo Koi when it comes to trying skill and all around everything when it comes to battle box every kit koi can play you can actually just go up and you can go out and you can look at the way koi plays koi has a youtube channel koi has montages koi shows off how competent they are as a player and that kind of consistency is why i think they went here yes exactly and as we as we can um as we keep saying um mass still has not been picked up yet which is Absolutely. Astonishing, Absolutely my wild. Opinion. Astonishing. Uh, my first overall pick, but with Mass, I guess people um, want to go with a heavy hitter with their uh, first overall picks. I, I, I agree. Uh, but I think Mass would have yeah. been that heavy hitter. Ma Mass is definitely the best range player in the game. Un and honestly, if Mass falls to the six, um, spoiler alert, that may be, um, be, my, <laughs> that may be uh, something I'm uh, looking at. A little spoiler, a little spoiler. Um, Obviously, Street Sharks up next with the pick. Uh, owned by Joey Fish. Joey Fish, a lot of people in the Battlebox community do not know. Uh, an amazing event player. I'm, I'm just gonna leave this uh, That's okay, Panda. I got you nothing don't need for to this go. one. I, I don't know who yes, Joey is. Um, <laughs> oh, no, and that's all good. Joey um, had... Uh, I, I played in events against them with... Uh, not with them. Um, they're dominant. They're dominant event player. And I think when it comes to event players... Um, you know, th for most event players, like obviously I'm a Crown Quest player. Joey's a Crown Quest player. Um, oh, so congrats you on don't get much... as well, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Jack, by the way, for the raid. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think, you know, they have to learn the games quick. You know, there's not much time for practice. Um, you have to learn the games quick on the spot. And I feel like Joey kind of brings that experience into Battlebox. 
Um, Joey can kind of um, learn the... I think he'll learn the game Battlebox well. And I think he'll be able to hopefully expand that knowledge to his players. From from what you've just told me, it's it sounds like he's a very adaptive person and that might help him in the way he picks. Alright, and um, we have the pick in now. Uh, is D Cody Cody ready? Yes, yes, it is. Yes. Okay, with the fifth pick in the IBL draft, the Street Sharks pick Dolphin Man. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Moss Interesting. falling outside of the top five. I wonder where Moss will go now. Hmm. Yes, I absolutely wonder myself. I have absolutely no idea what will happen. Um, I wonder who has the next pick. I uh, it, um, it looks at this chart like there is some uh, some team named uh, D Divine Ri Rising Rising. Yes, Divine Rising, owned by none other than me. I will. I uh, sent my pick in. I let the staff uh, confirm. That, that was that. That was fast. Yes, it was very fast. I, th I think Dolphin Man <laughs> gets his his chance on stage first. Oh, never mind. Yes. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we go to Decody now live with the pick. Oh, is the pick in? A pick is not in quite yet. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. I thought I Jump thought it was head. I thought it was confirmed. It's my bad. <laughs> okay, All right. okay. All right, the pick is in. With the sixth pick of the IBL draft, Divine Rising chooses <gasps> Mass Marvelous. Who would have thought? <laughs> wow. A uh, complete shocker. <laughs> Who would have thought, here, chat? Jam. Complete shocker. No idea that Divine Rising was going to go with this pick at all. Yeah, um, as, I, as I've been saying, I've, I mean, I guess I'm talking my own pick here. As I've been um, saying this entire time, uh, Mass Marvelous, obviously, um, I think one of the best players to ever play the game. Obviously, I think there's no denying that they are the best ranged player to ever play the game. I think a good heavy hitter will be available in the second round, which is why I went this route. All right. That's a bit of a gamble you're taking there, but... Uh, there's a lot of good players still on the board here. You still have TJ on the board. You still have Zulu. You still have uh, PRT on the board. All of them. Great players. Exactly. I completely agree. All right. Coming up, we have the Breeze. Is it the Breeze Blazers? Blazers? Um, Blazer? Well, there's two Zs, so I think Blazer would have one Z. Um, D Cody, let's um, pass the mic along over to D Cody. D Cody, uh, what are your thoughts on the on the pick so far. But I got, I got to get to the booth. I got to get to the booth. Oh, you have a booth. You have a booth. Right, <laughs> oh, right, right, right. booth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the booth. You know, I got to say the picks are quite unexpected. You know, Joy and uh, Mass going so late was not expecting that. Honestly, um, Chan getting really lucky there with that, <laughs> with that Mass pick. Uh, you know, kind of got bailed out by the people I picking say before that. him. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, I would not say that. But. Uh, but. But yeah, very interesting to see. Um, very interesting to see. Uh, that's yes. all I got. I, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like team owners went with the picks that best suited them and the way they want to build their organization, the way they want to build their culture, and the way they want their team run. It could be... We have, we definitely heard Chan blush about Mosk falling, but we don't have, we don't have to keep... <laughs> Cody, why'd you say it? Why'd you say it? Why'd you like no, that? I'm not scripting! Why'd you I'm not out him like that? Scripted, chat. <laughs> oh, wait, this is not I'm still scripted. on? I'm still on yes, air? I'm still on air. <laughs> Alright, let's take it back over to here. Um, Alright, we have the next pick-in, but before I announce it, before Decody announces, I just want to go over. Uh, next up, we have the Blazers, owned by Uncertain Pine. Um, the reason Uncertain Pine was draft picked as an owner is he is an event organizer himself. He organizes the event uh, Fruit Wars, a content creator event. Has had a lot of success. I've uh, been on a little bit of a break, but is up next. All right, Decody, are you Let's ready to announce? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> okay. With the seventh pick of the IBL draft, the Blazers are going to be picking Mudman's son. Wow. Amazing pick. Amazing I'm pick. Completely behind it. Yes, I absolutely agree. And a lot of people don't know Mudman's son. Not up until recently. They, every um, combine I've seen them in, they've been dominating. Um, they haven't been known um, beforehand, but they have been dominating combines. And I think that's what Uncertain Pine has seen. Uncertain Pine, um, not really a Battlebox player. 
Um, and the Combine's yes. definitely, prob- as you said, playing a big role in this pick, showing how talented he was at the Combine really gets him here. And and on a person who's not knowledgeable in battle box, using the Combine to find the best players they can, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. I 100% agree with you there. All right. Um, one player we have not seen yet. Um, Atomic Cherry. Atomic Cherry. Um, up next, surprised. we have Serpentine. Um, Serpentine's pick is in. We will get to that in one second. Serpentine owned by Mellow, Cello, Jello, Cello, Hello. No, I'm just joking. It's Mellow. Mellow, um, known for owning the... Serpentine. Uh... Yeah, Serpentine and the MCC Island Champions Discord with like 1,200 members. Absolutely successful organizer, which is why I think they'll be an amazing, amazing team owner, an amazing organizer. Probably a great scout too for talent there because they've, they've, they've run that. They've seen talent. They know what they're doing. And you have to take a look and see Hang10 and Serpentine. Both were the teams hosting these mini combines, getting people together. So Mello and Dom honestly have the largest amount of people to work with and probably have the biggest picture here on what they're going to draft. Yes, exactly. Um, Just waiting. Waiting to see the pick confirmed. Waiting. Now. Yes. Um, okay. Yep. No. And obviously, they do not have to be online. They do not have to be online. Um, all right. Just looking here. Just want to just check a couple things before moving on. Make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, all right, Decody. Okay, okay. What's yours? With the eighth pick of the IBL draft, Serpentine chooses Urchint. Urchint. Okay. This is Urchint I'm not too, too familiar with. I know they are a dominant MCC Island player, not a Battle Box player, but an absolute dominant force in MCC Island. So I think this is a really good pick. Uh, I think Urchin this is absolutely is well an amazing known for pick. a couple of things. He was in a couple of Mr. Beast events. He was in a couple of Tubbo events, actually. And the guy competed really well. He's a PvP mastermind, an event mastermind. And I've got to say, I was surprised I didn't see him on a lot more predictions. The guy is all around well known, and he's very talented. Yes, and we'd love to see that here at IBL. It is not just a Battle Box League, it is a Minecraft League. Uh, one thing I always tell everyone that it's more than just. Battle box. It's a Minecraft league. External talent can come and learn the game quick with the right ownership and absolutely dominate some of the regulars. So I'm glad we're not just getting uh, Battle Box one trips, one tricks in these draft picks, um, which I kind of expected for the first couple rounds. Not gonna lie, I thought maybe some of these event players, especially like Dolphin Man, uh, would fly under the radar. But um, absolutely not bad draft so far. Not a bad draft so far. A lot of heavy hitters already gone, and a bunch of sleeper picks also taken, but. We still have plenty more to go, and we still have plenty more players that are super talented on the board. I we still have yes, Zulu on the board. We still have PRT on the board. TJ's on the board. I could and go on and on. Atomic Cherry. Also, Atomic Cherry, who has fallen outside of the top eight. Now, I yeah. am surprised. Will they even be a first round pick? Hard that to is say. true. Yeah. Um, I, I think, um, it's, they're definitely the most, the next best pick to choose from, but we'll have to wait and see what the owners decide. Absolutely. Uh, another player, Kami is also available. Um, and, uh, yeah, Atomic Prism. One of them, one of them is going to, or is my math correct? Yeah, one of them is going to fall out of the top 10. One of Kami, Prism, or Atomic are going to fall out. And that's absolutely wild to me. Uh, it is, but we right. just have more talented players, and certain people must have rubbed other people differently in the way they wanted to draft. Yes, for sure. And the next pick is in. Um, next up drafting is obviously Galaxy, owned by Possibilities. Friend of D. Cody, uh, and owner of the 10th announced Battle Box team. They just got their branding out to... Let's see who they pick. Okay, okay. With the ninth pick of the, of the IBL draft... The Team Galaxy is picking Atomic Cherry. And there we go. We were just talking Absolutely. about how much they've fallen. Um, glad they were still a first-round pick. Um, and an absolute steal for the Galaxy team, I think. I do want to say, this is another similar to B sort of situation where Atomic actually doesn't do comms. Atomic does not do VCs very often with anybody ever. Um, and this is going to be a talent pick. Atomic is the most capable solo queuer in the game. 
let's see how it goes with the team. Yes, I absolutely agree. Um, and one more pick left in the first round. Um, that pick is going to go with a nightmare. They're going to pick the next two on uh, number 10 and number 11. Remember, this is a snake draft um, owned by Panday. I, I met Panday about a month ago. Okay. Panday helped create um, one of my other Discord servers, um, Plobin Time. Um, yeah, absolutely going to be an amazing organizer. One thing, though, is they may not be familiar with the game of Battlebox too much. And I've seen them in game. They're still a really good player. And they're in my chat right now. I mean, that's another bonus right. there in your chat, too, right? Exactly. So. All right. Next pick is in. Um, just give me one second, Decody. Let me, um, let me just make sure I don't get kicked from Island. No, that's just move around a little bit. Yes, of course, of course, of course. I haven't been tabbing back in too much. All right. Handing over the stage to you, Decody. Okay, okay. With the 10th pick of the IBL draft, Nightmare chooses the OG Toot. Wow. Okay. I know Toot. Toot is one of my best friends. This, he may have been picked a little early in my opinion. I I didn't want to say it, but I'm, I'm going to let you elaborate. You want to say the good parts All about right. Toot? Go ahead. Yes, Toot is an amazing PvPer. Toot is an amazing PvPer and amazing friend of mine. Um, I just feel like there's better picks on the board. I feel like Toot is a late second round top th or top third round. I don't know if they were a first rounder, but here we are. Uh, must have done something um, to jump up dra the draft board for Nightmare. Um, you've got to think that, you know, Pandai maybe do doesn't know the scene in well enough, but I do want to say Toot's a good player. He could definitely make some splashes, make some good plays. It's really based on what, who do they pick next because they have back-to-back -back picks. Yes, exactly. Um, and we actually do have the next pick here. We might as well stay on stage. Absolutely. Okay, okay. With the eleventh pick of the of the IPL draft, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nightmare chooses Prism. Yes, Prism. <laughs> One of yes, an open play, um, open beta player. Open beta legend. Sorry, that took a little second to come out. Um, I believe they peaked at like three um all time kills. And uh one thing that's holding them back from that number one spot is they got locked out of that account thanks to the Minecraft Mojang yeah, migration. I, I, so I was gonna bring that up. So uh Prism is no longer Prism. Prism is now Rism and is the Riz God and has rizzed his way in the pit number eleven. <laughs> off the booth, off the booth for that. No, one, no, bro. No, 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 no. You can't get me. You can't tell us uh, the truth. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing pick. Um, yeah, one of the one of the top talents for sure. Definitely. Um, yeah, and you know that includes the first round and the first pick of the second round. So, um, what are you what are your thoughts on the first round so far? So far, not so far. But the first round's done. What are your thoughts on the first round? <laughs> what, are, what are my thoughts on my first on the first round and the first pick of the second round? Uh, thank you, Chan. Um, <laughs> my, my thoughts are the first round, crazy. You've got behavior going as the first overall pick. A player with uh, no communications is about to, about to test the waters. We're going to see, is communication a, absolutely essential for IBL, or can they completely skill their way around it? It's You have these super talented players in actual, like, in like real life sports that have physical ability. You can look at somebody like Cam Newton who was really good for five years and then completely burn out because he, all he did was use his full talent and he didn't do any practice and it hurt his team in the long run. Yes. I personally am Canadian, so I do not watch football, but I will agree with that. statement. <laughs> that analogy means um... nothing. No. Yes. Uh, coming up next, we have uh, Galaxy with their second round pick. Um, hopefully, we speed things up a little bit. Uh, we were a little scuffed at first, but hopefully, um, picks come in a little quicker now. Um, Galaxy picked up Atomic Cherry in their first round. Um, as you mentioned, not a um, communicator, I don't believe. Uh, you can confirm that, right? Not a uh, mic player. Oh, uh, wait. What you, uh, I didn't hear what you said. My bad. Oh, uh, Atom um, we're talking about Atomic Cherry. Um, Yes, a no Galaxy. another non mic player, and what, and I think you can really compare B and Atomic to each other. I think if you switch the B and the Atomic pick, they make a little bit more sense, but it's still fine. They both still win in the first round. They're both extremely talented players, 
and it's what do they do to get around the communication block? That's what I'm yes. most interested to see. Yes, for sure. And uh, the next pick is in. Uh, D Cody, are you ready? Uh, yes, one second. Okay, okay. With the 12th pick of the IBL draft, Galaxy is picking Blurry. Yeah. Yeah. Blurry. Blurry goes number 12 overall to Team Galaxy. Um, I thought maybe we'd see a Koi Blurry duo, but I guess um, Galaxy decided to pick up Blurry. Um, Blurry is still a top 10 player right now on leaderboards. Uh, they do not play the game as often. Some call them washed. Um, he'll have to prove himself in this league um, to beat those allegations. Absolutely, but I do want to say they're probably not as wise as you're making them out to be. They're really talented. They quote-unquote retired, but when they did come back, they still absolutely wiped the floor with everybody. Super talented player. I love the pick. Yes, of course. Blurry, I hope Blurry comes into their prime and absolutely dominates the league. Um, have they been a have they been a combine player? I haven't seen their game. I don't recently. I don't have recollection of uh, Blurry being in the combine. They might have. I do not know. All right. Um, yeah, Blurry Blurry being paired with Atomic. Uh, we'll see how that duo does in the league. And um, yeah, next up we have Serpentine, um, owned by Mello. Um, they picked up Urchin in the last. Um, with their first round pick, eighth overall. Uh, hopefully we'll see maybe a more Battlebox main that can kind of um, come in and show how the game of Battlebox is played. Maybe steer the team in the right direction. Exactly. Um, we got the Dominant Force and Urchin. Let's see what um, Serp what direction Serpentine goes. Um, do you have any predictions? Uh, what are your thoughts? What do you think they take this So pick? my recollection is that Mello has told me that they wanted to go for these sleeper picks. They wanted to go for the people that people aren't actually seeing. And that's why they started holding these combines with Dom. I'm interested to see what the pick is, because honestly, I'm as close as you are, because Melo kept it really close to the chest, did not show any of their cards. Yes, of course. I'm, I'm really excited to see. I just got a little bit of a leak here from one of my sources. Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Decody pauses their stream. Let me... Here, where did you go? Did you get AFK kicked? Yes. Oh my god. It happens this guy. too often. This guy. Alright, if the owners can confirm this pick, uh, we will get onto it. Alright, the pick is in. D. Cody, are you ready? Right. With the 13th pick of the IBL draft, the Serpentine selects Doozum. Great Doozum, a Fantastic. amazing pick. I love this pick. I played with Doozum in the Combine. This guy is super talented. His knowledge of the game completely surprised me. He has situational knowledge that I have... I'm just impressed. I briefly interacted with him on Combine Day, and I, I, I really can't blush about the guy enough. Yes, and I believe uh, Doozum and Urgent definitely have some um, um, chemistry that could uh, definitely help them win games. Completely agree. And Doozum is a great guy to, to have steer this team he is battle box knowledge he has map knowledge he loves taking map control he doesn't like to give up anything to anybody and i think that's going to go a long way with steering urchant and his development yes and i completely agree i'm really excited for this team now i am really excited to see where they go with their um third round um up next uh we have breeze blazers again uh breeze uh took mudman son an absolute don't i think they have potential to be the best player in this league so far absolutely i can get behind that it's what team do they build around them they took mudman son they took a very good pv a, clo a very good close range pvp here who do they go for next who that's who a good question lots of good names team? yes lots of lots of good names left on the on the board um obviously we're still going cami zulu um tjb lots of people i'm lots of people i'm going for my hard weird here chan i'm going zulu because the guy's a range god and if you pair him with Mudman's son, I wonder what they could do. Yes, of course, of course, of course. Um, yes, up next we have the Breeze Blazers, uh, owned by a certain pine. Still waiting for this pick to come in? Just communicating with our staff right now. Absolutely. Making sure everything is good. I'm getting worried about the pick here. And... 
there's 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 influence from Budman apparently on what the pick is. All right, and our pick is in. Dakota, are you ready? One second. Oh. A little bit of pause here. Oh, and it's pronounced ready. Blazers. Okay, I've been pronouncing the team wrong. It's Blazers. I thought Blazers had one Z, not two. All right. Bro's talking about the show. Here, with the, with the 14th pick of the IBL draft, the Blazers pick, Saitama. Saitama. Yeah. One of our IBL staff gets picked in the second round. I did not see this coming. Um, Saitama's a talented player, but I did not see him go in the second round. As I do want to say... I agree with this, but I uh, I care for my life, and I know I'm going to talk to them later, so I'm not going to say anything. Yes, of course. Okay. Um. Yeah, amazing pick. Uh, let me uh, pass it on to you because I have to decide my pick now. Um, it is hard to um manage and um and pick at, the same, at time. the same time. So I'm going to completely take yes. over. Divine Rising. First pick is Moss, a great player who blends with almost anybody. Greatest range player in MCCI right now, considered by many people to be such. But where does Divine Rising go next? You have Moss, great player to build around. Who do you see Divine Rising taking here? I don't know. I have no idea here. Because there's this sequential order of skilled players that you could go for. You've got Moss, who's a battle box, one trick. Do you go for somebody who's got more potential and is new to the game, or do you go for somebody who's another one trick and just try to fully silo yourself into quick ranged play? I I have no idea. All right, I um I put my pick in for everyone just joining us. IBL is the Island Battle Box League, Minecraft's first esports league, ran like an American sports league or just normal esports. Um, basically, we're drafting for season one. The season oh. should be starting uh, in the next week or two. Chan, we've been found. Um, Oh, what? Oh, no. We've been found, Jan. All right. Um, The pick is in. Hey, Cody. Okay. You. With the 15th pick of the IBL draft, the Divine Rising picks Landon Legends. All right. I'll explain my pick here. Landon, uh, I have uh, dueled this guy before. Um, obviously a team or a team organizer of the popular event, Minecraft Mayhem, absolutely no influence to my pick whatsoever. Hmm. Um, absolutely Peculiar. destroyed me multiple times, uh, in Sword PvP. I've dueled this guy on, um, Legacy and I'm impressed by his game. I think, um, pairing him with Mass Marvelous, um, will definitely... He's in my chat, just saying LMAO right now. Um, I, I think pa pairing him with, um, Mass Marvelous will... Um, Could teach him the game of battle box. Good and an ab yes, exactly. A very good sword player. Probably one of the best sword players I've seen here. Um, and hopefully they put me in uh, the next Minecraft Mayhem. Let's go, Landon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, we have Street Sharks owned by Joey Fish. Joey went an event player route. Um, they picked Dolphin Man in the first round. Um, I definitely think they should get a battle box experience player like Zulu or Kami or maybe some of the closed beta leaderboard players. Absolutely. I can um, see this team going the same route as the Urchin Doozum team, finding somebody who's a battle box player to steer them in the right direction, someone who's got that game knowledge and experience to push their team where they need to be and take them to the next level. And I completely agree with that. Um, yeah. All right. We have the pick is in. Um, let me just switch scenes real quick. Okay. okay so load up. <laughs> All right, Dakota, it's up to you. Okay. With the 16th pick of the IBL draft, the Street Shark select Floatives. Absolutely amazing pick. I was debating between Landon or Floatives. My fifth. Uh, better now? No, you're good now. You're good now. <laughs> All right. Let's go. They're going the event player out. They're going for the potential, the hot, the heavy hitters, the people that they think can tear it to push their team beyond. And they're going for some. <laughs> I'm just reading Cody's chat, and it's calling me a Halloween spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, I think love they're it. they're going for these event players. They're going for these guys that they that have this knowledge and can perform under pressure. They're probably going to pick up somebody who can direct them later on, maybe even be their sub-player to just teach them and be their IBL B-League leader 
but teach the actual IBL team what they need to do. A potential coach, if you will. Yes, and um, people say Flotas isn't a battle box player. And they're not considered a battle box man. Um, but to that I say, Coach Seed Maud, he got picked. You didn't. <laughs> True, but Flotus has actually won um, multiple battle box tournaments in Mellow's um, Island Discord. So obviously, I believe Flotus is not. Wait, 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 wait. What what is T say? What is it's like, it's like Thomas saying right now? Yes, they don't have to be online, um, Tama. They just have to be in the Discord. And if Flota's left, I'll force him to join again. No. Oh. Alright, coming <laughs> at pick 17, we have Wolfpack. Um, they went um, and they picked at number 4, one of the Battle Box Goats, um, X Koi. Um, and I think they could pair an inexperienced player, a heavy hitter, with Koi, and Koi could die the roads. Or they could just go for another Battle Box um, know it all, another Battle Box legend. Either or would fit amazing with their team. The thing is, I think the picking of these battle box greats and then you pick a person with so much potential is a great idea because you ha you don't want to put too many big egos in one room because they may not mesh. They may not be that team. They may not go well together. And it really does matter who you pick here. Because if you go with potential, you have a chance to con create some good chemistry, some learning, a teacher-student dynamic, which will go great. Or you can go with peer dynamic. You can go with friends and people who learn quickly together. That is the dynamics that they're probably going for here. And I'm curious to see what the pick is. And I'm exactly too. Um, Wolfpack, on the board, Ujin. If you could just get on get out of my way, that'd be great. Uh, I will ban you from the street. Rose Hydrack in the street. You can sit in the background. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> but if you, if you, um, yep. All right, and the pick is in. Let's pass it over to our co-commissioner, D. Cody. Let's see it. Okay, okay. With the 17th pick of the IBL draft, uh, Wolfpack picks uh, Kami. <laughs> yes. Number Ka one. Kami, Kami, I don't really know how to pronounce. It's, it, I've talked yes, to them one before. Of the... It's Kami, number one combine player by far. Absolutely showed up, showed out. Went from being on some people's prediction charts from in round five to round two. I think this is a great pick. Super talented. I, I could not. Yes. And I, abs I absolutely agree with this pick. Um, absolutely amazing heavy hitter. Uh, they have the experience. Uh, they have the skill. They, have, they do it all. They absolutely do it all. This guy going this far down in second round might be considered one of the biggest deals of the draft. I don't know what your thoughts on this are. But they definitely have potential to absolutely dominate this league and prove they should have been a first rounder. I do want to throw this out there. Zulu is still on the board. That is Zulu surprising. Is still on the board. A potential yes, first Zulu. round pick could fall to the third. Yes, and that's what we love about this league is anyone from the first round all the way down to the third round could be interchangeable. Awesome. Um, next up at number 18, we have Hang 10. Uh, Hang 10 board. Um, I, I think I can get a hard prediction on Hang 10 here. I'm thinking they go deeper MC. A really great combine player. Great with sword, great with everything, has good map knowledge. Communication's a little tough. I didn't I didn't get to calm with them while they were in the combine, but it does happen. You know, maybe they just weren't able to calm and maybe they're capable of doing so, but I think great pick if it goes to deeper. All right, we'll have to see. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, we get the answer soon. Uh, remember to chat. Uh, join the IBL Discord if you guys haven't already. I will uh, chat right now. Um, absolutely exciting season coming up. Already off to a crazy start. Uh, uh, uh yeah. I'm definitely looking at some big names here. Um, another name we haven't mentioned yet, Specter Knight. I think is crazy as well. I think uh, Specter awesome. Knight. There's a lot of battle box names that could uh, go list i'm getting worried what the pick is and it's a good the pick, pick in my is opinion. yes the pick is in uh d cody let's bring it to you okay with the 18th pick of the ibl draft hang 10 picks has been all right has be all right what are your thoughts on this pick dude uh i i don't have really much to say about has i think he does the talking himself his gameplay is great yeah, Hasby, an elite player. Um, I don't really know their battle box knowledge very well. I know they're an all 
Uh, let's well, let's hope let's see if they can uh, dominate this league, and I I'm really rooting for them. Same here. Uh, they're they're an all around good battle like battle box player. If you didn't, I I didn't know you didn't know. That's why I was throwing it off to you. But uh, Hasby's okay, great battle yeah. box player, all around good MCC Islander as well. Uh, mains sky uh, main sky battle. However, they've been briefly nudging their way into battle box. I've been seeing them more and more and more. Let's just see if they can continue that transition smoothly. Yes, and I absolutely agree. And they are being paired with Blocky right now, so that could be a deadly duo for um years to come. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Um. Next up, we have um Cooking with Grease. Um, Cooking with Grease has their pick in now. All right, passing it to you, Cody. Go. With the nineteenth pick of the IBL draft, Cooking with Grease picks Brunton. Brunted, an absolutely dominant force on MCC Island. Um, their IGN right now is booted for um, Halloween, um, celebrating Halloween. Brunted gets paired with T-Snaz. Um, I believe these two have an amazing chemistry. I think they have teamed together in Island Championships before. So I'm really excited to see this duo. Uh, I, I feel like they're going to build a really good chemistry team. Um, I feel like Arby's is going for chemistry over pure skill. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. He is... They've got amazing chemistry. They've played with each other. I've heard them calming a little bit from here and there. Uh, in Melo's uh, mini combine, they were teamed together, and they calmed great. And honestly, I think Synergy is a good idea to go for this early in the draft. Yes, and I absolutely agree. Um, I feel like, you know, you could have roads here. You could go for skill. Or you could go for chemistry. And I feel like chemistry and I, I think they're doing teamwork, both. Well, let's, let's not, let's yes, not, absolutely. Let's not I, down I, I snaz. I absolutely agree with that. I absolutely um, They're obviously both elite players. Um, but chemistry is what's going to make or break this league. And I feel like they have a good combination of both. I feel like both players will work to go all together. And um, maybe even teach some um, B-leaguers or uh, any players that um, play for the Hang 10 franchise. Or Cooking with Grease franchise, sorry. All right, next up, we have the last pick in uh, round two. Uh, pick number 20, Stuff But Tough. Also, um... Oh, I got I got AFK kicked again. Let's go. Oh, God. I'm here. I'm here. I Yeah, um, Ujim is taking, taking your spot. No! All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, Stuff But Tough has the next two picks. Uh, we're close to closing out round second. Um, Who are some of us right now who definitely deserve to go round two, but you have not seen yet? Zulu! He's still there. Yes, Zulu. Zulu dominated the combine. Um, the combine. Um, the combines I've hosted. Zulu was really showed out, and I think Zulu will be an amazing pick for anyone at this stage of the game. I think they're maybe considered a steal at this. Um, at this position. I would consider them a steal if you if you got them in early round two, and now you're finding them at early late two. Uh, at, at late two. <laughs> late. English English is hard. My bad. At late round two. You could you could get an absolute steal here. Yes, and I absolutely agree. I'm really excited um, to see how um, stuff but tough goes with these next two picks. All right, <laughs> the next pick is in um, stuff but tough. Okay. Uh, to you, Cody, to announce. Okay, okay. With the twentieth pick of the IBL draft, stuffed but tough pick. D Cody. <laughs> wow, Commissioner Whoa, D Cody, yeah. the last yeah. pick of the second round. Um, D Cody, let's not pass it to you. What are your thoughts for uh, working for this uh, franchise? Uh, what do you, you bring know, to the table? I do consider myself stuffed and also tough. So honestly, we love to see it. <laughs> we absolutely love to see it. Um, very excited. I'm I'm absolutely super hyped about um this pick. Obviously, if you guys don't know, I'm gonna hype you up a little. D. Cody is one of the OG players, um, one of the best Battlebox players um, of, of the close beta era. Leaderboard player. What did you peak at, D. Cody? What was your peak D, um, leaderboard uh, player? Third? Third. <laughs> so, similar yes. positioning and, to Prism, uh, and uh, an interesting play style that, in my experience. Um, Cody is a very aggressive person when he needs to be, but I've seen him play passive, and I think that's where his strong suit is. When he plays defensive, he can get you in these massive combos. He can completely one idea a game, save your ace on my ass like three times, and it hurt me so many times. But <laughs> I think it's a great pick. Yes, of course. And uh, Stuff But Tough also has another pick uh, to go through. 
Um, I wonder who they're going to pair, because uh, right now we have D. Cody and um, Behavior. I wonder how the communication is going to go. D. Cody's definitely going to have to take your position. Uh, D. Cody, um, you, you've definitely gone against Behavior a lot. What are your thoughts? And, uh... Thoughts on your teammate? True. I think Behavior is very good. I think uh, they can cook. And I don't think it'll matter too much with the comms, because you really don't need four people coming all the time. But we'll see how it turns out. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, of course. I'm absolutely super excited. And with Stuff But Tough picking their third person here, we're kind of going to get a good grasp of what their team's going to look like in the long term. We're going to exactly. see their IBL starting team. More than likely, these three players will be their starters. Yes. Um, and Staff can... I heard someone... I heard Staff say that that uh, player wasn't in the Discord. Can Staff just confirm that real quick? Um, and also, Flotus, I see you just joined us. Flotus was date, uh, drafted 16th overall by the... Street Sharks, uh, owned by Joey Fish. Uh, I just want to get some confirmation from staff. Just type a yes in the staff chat. Um, yeah, Flota's absolutely elite talent. Uh, going for that second round is uh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at this pick, right. I, I like it. I like this pick, too. I just want to confirm one thing. Um, if staff members can uh, confirm this. That uh, they are in the are they um confirmed in the Discord? I heard someone say they were, so I just want to get a confirmation that they are. Flotism Dolphin Man are going to be a hard hitting duo. We are absolutely excited to see that duo on the Street Sharks owned by Joey Fish. Yes, deep. <laughs> yes. All right, D Cody. Um, the floor is okay. yours. With the 21st pick of the IBL draft, uh, Stuffed But Tough picks Deeper MC. I'll pass this on to you, dude. What do you know about Deeper MC? Well, I do want to say, I didn't get to comm with them very much. However, they did carry their teams at combines. They were active. They were there. They showed up. They showed out. They were confident. They pushed aggressively. They got multiple kills. I don't think they had a single game below five kills in a sweaty lobby, mind you. That is super. That is fantastic. And if they can pull those stats in IBL, they'll be great. Yes, and I absolutely agree. This is a really good pick. This is beginning the third round. And the next pick is already in. Um, being with Greece. Let me just pull up my notes here. Um, clicking the wrong tabs. Uh, yeah, cooking with Greece with the 22nd pick. Uh, off to you, D. Cody. All right, with the 22nd pick of the IBL draft, uh, cooking with Greece chooses Zenrule. Zenrule, another elite talent in this league, going to cooking with Greece. I'm, I'm gonna let you do uh, this one, Chan. I got the last one. Okay. Um. Yeah, Zenrule. I actually not too familiar with Zenrule. Uh, I I know that I hear that name and I know the player. Um, let me just pull up some stats here. They definitely have a Minecraft Zenrule. account. I can verify that. Yeah, they definitely have a Minecraft account. Uh, elite player, and um, we already have Hang Ten's pick up next. Um, passing it to you, D Cody. Okay, with the twenty third pick of the IBL draft. Hangton chooses India. Yes. Going for now, a full country you here. Great idea. I'm just messing with <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, India 26. I know India. They are one of my viewers. I party with them before, and I have never played with such an elite healer. I actually agree um, with that entirely. Completely. Yes. I. Yes. An elite healer is definitely needed in this league. Um, they are a no -com. Um, they're in D. Cody's chat right now saying they're on mobile, which is kind of crazy. That's kind of cracked. I'm um, not going to lie. I, I definitely expected uh, India to make the league. I definitely think they're going to be an underrated pick. I was hoping to pick them up. I'm not going to lie. I really thought they were going to go later. So I was seeing at them by fourth or fifth round, maybe. Um, for them to go into third is absolutely crazy. Um, they're going to be paired with Hasby and who else is on Hang 10? Um, Blocky. Honestly? You're pairing Kinda, two really good healers with each other, which... Yes, but with Blocky, Blocky's a heavy hitter as well. Blocky, if He's India takes the healing... Yeah, if India takes the healing, Blocky can take the heavy hitting. Blocky can focus more on being the dominant leader that they... 
All right. Uh, next up, we have Wolfpack. Alex Count X. Um, previously picking up Cammy and Koi. I'm really excited to see what his third round pick will be. Now, it looks like they're going for this this peer synergy of these really talented players that are comparable to each other in skill and really good at the game. If they're going for that, f like, friend or, like, equals perspective, I'm wondering who they're going for here, because Zulu's still on the board. If you want to go for Zulu, that's a great option. Yes, exactly. Zulu going this low is kind of shocking to me. Um, I'm down. I, um, spoil alert, I have my eyes on them. As someone who is coming up in a few picks, if they... If they drop any lower, it is an absolute shocker to me. A, a good pick. I'm, I'm Absolutely words, amazing good pick. pick. Yes. All right. The next pick is in. Decody, this is off to you. Okay. With the twenty fourth, with the twenty fourth draft of the IBL. Uh, wait. With the twenty fourth pick of the IBL draft. There we go. <laughs> the Wolfpack picks Alex the Droog. Alex the Droog, an absolutely elite PvP player. Um, Couldn't agree more. I thought some people were going to sleep on Alex, but I, I think this is very well deserved. Obviously, Alex the Droog being paired up with um, owner Alex Count X is kind of a kind of a crazy duo. Uh, what are your thoughts on Alex the Droog? Uh, I don't have as much experience with Alex as much as I want. The guy is insanely talented. I've run into him a couple times, and still one of the few players ap that absolutely has my number in solo queue. Can't beat the guy to save my life. Great pick, in my opinion, from my experience with him. Yes, and I absolutely agree. I think Alex... Al, I've played against Alex quite a bit. And um, in my chat, someone's saying Koi, KXM, and Alex, a uh, trio. Kind of... Um, kind of crack? Absolutely. Kind of a crazy, scary trio you want you, you do not want to go up against. Um, yeah, I'm... They have the knowledge. They have the skill. Um, this is going to be a... Deadly team. Couldn't All agree more right. with you there. Uh, I'm interested to see what the next pick, though, is. Yes, next pick is coming up is 25. Um, is there a spreadsheet? Yes, there is. I'll actually link the spreadsheet again. That is not it. Let me um, let me just give me one second, chat. I will link the spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, next up we have Street Sharks. Um, Street Sharks obviously has Flotos and... Uh, Dolphin Man, I really want them to pick up an experienced battle box player with its third pick to kind of mesh. Um, I think he's been on the board for this long. A potential first rounder, a guy who has more game knowledge than anyone else left on the board. Zulu, great pick, would blend perfectly with this team. Yes, and I absolutely agree. This is going to be crazy. Or they could go for more potential picks. Yes. I'm getting rid of the pick. I feel like there's going to be a... It does fall under what we are recommending. It does fall under experienced battle box player. In fact, probably somebody who has a little bit more experience. And we'll see. And it's more experienced than Zulu, so... This could be a good pick. Yes, of course. I'm um, passing it on to you, Decody. Okay, okay. With the 25th pick of the IBL draft, the Street Shark Shoes Retro Bow... Retro Bow, an absolute um, modern day player. Um, I played against them. I thought before, you know, back when I was first hearing of them, they were kind of an overrated player. But um, seeing them play in the combine, they have absolutely proved themselves absolute to be potential. a dominant force in today's day and age of Battle Box. I've got to say, Ken, um, I think you ran into Autopilot Retro, which is he's just solo queuing and still dropping 5Ks left and right. And when he's actually focused, you saw what you did at the Combine. He is talented. He is there. He is ready to perform. And he is this veteran presence. Peaked at number one all-time kills. This guy is the talent that this team needs to guide it and show it how to play BattleBox properly, how to do it principled, and how to come away with the win. Yes, and I absolutely agree. Um, this is an absolute dominant, dominant player. Um, I'm actually kind of uh, I'm questioning my next pick. I I have multiple directions I want to go through, but we'll have, I'm just uh, going through the list here, and I'm just kind of going to going to see who's um uh, who I think will be a um an absolute dominant force. I'm just going through my notes right now. Um, we still have a couple of players that I'm going to point out that are on the board here that I'm a little bit surprised are still sticking around. Yeah, Crusher, old battle box player, still on the board. Per Hex, old battle box player, still on the board. You got Renshi, who's 
one of the few people to ever get 1,000 kills in a day. Absolute talent. We'll see what happens. I, I don't know if they're still going to stay on the board after this round or if they're going to be into the next round or the round after. I'm curious. All right, and I'm just um, putting my pick in. Hopefully the um, staff verify it. Um, I think I like where I'm going with this. I think I'm, I like the direction I'm going in. A lot of people probably don't see it coming, but... Um, oh, I'll tell you, I didn't. Yes, and I'll, I like I'll explain the pick, my though. reasoning here in a I second. I like the pick. I'm glad, I'm glad you like the pick. I'm glad you like the pick. All right, uh, D. Cody, let's um, pass this one on to you. Okay, with the 26th pick of the IBL draft, Divine Rising chooses Potsker. Yes, Potsker. All right, a little bit of what um, my reasoning behind the pick. Um, Potsker is... The reason I picked Potsker over Zulu is because Zulu doesn't have comms. Zulu, I looked at the form. Zulu is not a comms player. Potsker, uh, I've only heard of Potsker recently. They've been climbing the le battle box leaderboards. I feel like they'll be top 10 easily someday. They absolutely grind this game. They absolutely have passion for this game. I'm really excited to help. He's going to absolutely lead my team. I think pairing him as he is an absolute heavy hitter, pairing him with Mass Marvelous, um, it's going to be going to be a really really good season I think for Divine Rising so far. I do want to say I agree with that, and he is a steal at this position in my opinion somewhat, mainly because of the fact that he is well known that he's coming up the leaderboards. He's been playing every time I log on, Pot's on. Every time somebody else is going to log on, Pot's going to be on. This guy is grinding. He is sho he is showing that he has this work ethic that nobody else does. He is showing that, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going I'm to lose the vocabulary a little bit here. He is no lifing this game so hard, so much harder than ever, than than I ever have. And this guy, he is he's something else. Yes, and I absolutely agree. I'm really excited to work with him. I, I think some things about the game, and I think he can teach a lot of um, a lot of. Um, uh, uh, details um, about this game to anyone in this league, really. Um, coming up next, we have uh, Breeze Blazers with the 27th overall pick. Um, obviously, Breeze has picked um, Saitama and Mudman Sun. Um, looking like a good team so far. Um, where do you want? What direction do you want them to go in with this pick? I kind of want them to pick a little bit more of a of a of a person, of a more leader figure. I know Mudman's going to be a great leader on the team if you need him to be, but you want to pick somebody who's got a little bit more game knowledge and experience. Mudman's a great player. He's a beta, pl he's a beta player. He's also a open beta player. But the problem with that is he ha he kind of has played other games off and on. He's not a one-trick. You need a one-trick because they have the knowledge that some others don't. The way certain maps work, the way certain locations work. For example, you've got the one tricks are going to know that Slay is such an open map because you can go everywhere. You just have to control up top. I don't know if they have that yet. We shall see. Yes. And um, can you um, warp me again? I, I got t out. <laughs> I did too. Don't worry. Oh, okay. At this point, All I'm right. just sitting in the tunnel. All right. Well, the next pick is in. So I will um, switch to this scene and uh, decody if you want to announce it. Okay, with the 27th pick of the IBL draft, the the, the team, what team is it? Oh, God. Uh, the Breeze Blazers. Yep. <laughs> the Blazers pick, <laughs> Karrion Muncher. <laughs> absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing pick. Um, Karrion is definitely one of the most underrated players in this league, I believe. Uh, I believe them coming third round. Um, a lot of people might have not seen this. But I think they can. This is a good pick. I think this is a really good pickup. I I, I do want to say he is munching tonight because he's in the third round. He wasn't predicted to go until the sixth by some people. I've got to say, Zulu. I'm I'm still mad that Zulu is still on the board. This guy is so talented, and I'm just I'm rooting for him to go eventually. But I have to say, Carrion, good pick. I think he's got some synergy with the people who he's on his team with. Yes, exactly. And um, the next pick is in by Serpentine. Um, D Cody. Okay, okay. With the 28th pick of the IBL draft, Serpentine chooses Floofy Flame. Floofy Flame. Wow, I right. really expected this. Um, I, I, I saw, Mel I saw um, a Mellow drafting. Floofy, um, and a lot of people may not know Floofy. Um, Floofy is still an elite talent in this league. Floofy can still 
kind of pop off and um probably you know teach their team a lot about the game i love floofy as a pick i love this as a pick more than for a bunch of reasons i have to say floofy experienced player and has nonchalantly been a top 50 player in battle box for a very long time and he doesn't even main the game that's what surprised me i think ibl is going to get him to main the game and once he mains this game i'm sur- i am honestly i'm scared to see what he could do to this league yes and i absolutely agree um floofy is an elite talent um you know a lot of people underrate floofy but hey Luffy Flame, coming for the league. Um, we're into the late third round now. Well, uh, next up, we have Galaxy enter, and Nightmare. I'm sad. <laughs> we're starting to enter when yeah. I'm going to be a fifth rounder. Uh, yes, dude has yet to be drafted so far. Um, sad. I'm hurt. Uh, don't worry. Because I know Zulu's going to get I, picked I believe... ahead of me. Hey, this, league, this uh, draft has been shocking so far. Um, anything can happen in this draft. Um... Are you, are you able to TP me, by the way, so I can get back to that? Yeah, uh, here, I'll, I'll go back, I'll go back, don't worry. Alright, 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 alright. Give me a second. Alright, um, Venti, P- Venti, uh, you can confirm you are, uh, one of, I didn't, uh, yeah, okay, I, I trust you. See, okay, Venti is like also the one of the... I think I've seen it, I yes. like it. Alright, like off to you, Cody. Alright, with the 29th pick of the IBL draft... Team Galaxy chooses Zulu. What more is yes, there to say, Chan, Zulu. than finally, finally he goes off the board. One of the best range players. The only other person who I think is comparable to Moss when it comes to range. Yes, um, absolutely. One thing that was holding Zulu back was the comms thing, but Zulu is absolutely deserving of a, you know, first round pick or second round pick even. Um, they're deserving of it. And I think um pairs well. Um, with Blurge, um, who else, who else did they draft? They drafted, um, Blurge and Atomic Cherry. Um, I think this is going to be a, Are we going to hear uh, Team this is no be a scary team. Is this going to be Team this no might be a, This might be a no-com team, and you know what? If that route and just showcase pure talent, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, this is, uh, and we're getting to the last of the third round. Um, Nightmare has the next two picks, owned by Panday. Um, Panda pick Toot and Prism. Let's see where they go with their third and fourth round picks. Where do you think they go with this? Uh, I think you you want to get after somebody that you don't you want you want to go after an unknown here. To be honest with you, you want somebody that is proven to be a high potential talent, but you want someone that you know you can train. Someone to work with. They can calm, they can do everything that you need them to do, but you want to be able to train them to do better. All right, and this next pick is in. Um, Nightmare, this is a good pick. Can OG Toot announce the pick? Um, this is this is the commissioner's job. I don't know why you want Toot to announce it. Well, I mean, sometimes um, I mean the NFL draft occasionally announces picks. Okay, uh, we'll 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 go with uh. We'll... D Cody, um, All right. D, I tried. D Cody, you I tried. go right ahead. Um, yes, okay. uh, number 30 overall goes to Nightmare. With the 30th pick in the IBL draft, Nightmare picks Spectre Knight. Spectre Knight, an elite battle box talent. Um, definitely one of the newer one of the newer players in this league. Um, I've only really started seeing them about like a month ago, but they're absolutely a dominant talent. I believe they can also play the healer role. So, I have a little bit of knowledge on Spectre here. He actually has been around since uh, closed beta. Uh, I've seen, I saw him a couple of times in closed beta. He is more recently a month ago, but I do want to say, Spectre, talented player, great player, good pick, and I think if he actually gets to the grindstone and gets after this, he could lead his team. He could be the best. I guess I'm all just right. seeing things than Spectre, all right? Leave me alone. It's all good. Um, next up, uh, the next pick is already up. Uh, off to you, Cody. Okay, with the thirty-first pick of the IBL draft, Nightmare picks Alexis. Yes, another elite talent. Nightmare getting two back-to-back amazing picks. I absolutely love this. Um, yeah, this is really good pickup for Nightmare. Both picks. We can still talk about both picks. Amazing amazing pickups i'm cu- I'm curious to see how they synergize with each other and how it goes with their comms and their team but 
honestly, the talent's there. Let's see if the starting IBL roster does what it needs to do. Yes, and I this is going to be a this is a really good team. I I think this could be a team that absolutely um dominates the league so far. I think they have a really good one through four. I'm really excited. All right, uh, here, Chan. Make sure you're uh, in the lobby so oh, I can yeah, teleport yeah. here. Yes, just give me. All right. Um, what lobby do I have to be in? I uh, just like the hub. Look at. I am in the hub. It's not on me. Uh, Lovely. Uh. All right. Well, we're gonna have to wait this for is... cooldown. It's in the like two minutes. So I right, have one more pick. All right. Um, all right, yes, yes, yes. All right, uh, let me do that. Okay, uh, let me uh, look at the draft board. Um, next up, Galaxy with number 32. Um, and remember, we're getting into like two way contracts at this point. Um, these are people that could still play in, in the B League, uh, depending on what Just uh, route the teams decide to go. Say, but Chan, still a, a lot super of talent. talented players still on the board right now. Uh, due to you, absolutely great play. <laughs> I and hey, I absolutely agree with you. Dude, two is an absolute talent in this league. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to see where they go. Um, you know, a little Can't wait farther to be down than what I thought. Round. Let's go. All right. Uh, the next pick is in. Uh, oh, I love that. I love that pick. With the thirty-second pick of the IBL draft, Team Galaxy chooses Perhex. I've seen for Hex in these combines. For Hex is a very good player. I haven't really seen much of. Uh, what... So my my opinion on Per Hex here is he's a very principled player. I'm curious to see what he does outside of those principles. Being that if you go for a crit, crit, and then you know crossbow shot, you've got these very principled plays from him and map control everything. I'm curious to see what he does after that. What can he do to expand his play? What can he do to expand his horizons to his team? What is his team going to do to help him continue to progress? Yeah, I'm absolutely excited to see what they can bring to the table. Um, all right. We already have the next pick in right now, by the way. Um, Serpentine, Mello with the fourth round pick. Off to you, D. Cody. Okay, okay. With the 32nd pick of the IBL draft. Serpentine chooses Insidious. Insidious and another elite okay. PvP air. Yeah. Actually, the 33rd pick, not the 32nd pick, Decody. Um, that was enough. 55. All right, sorry, I had to mute there to sneeze. Um, yeah, I think um, Insidious, um, obviously, um, Mel has been scouting, and Mel sees a lot of potential to pick. Uh, next up, we have Breeze Blazers with 34. I wonder what they can bring to the table, what they have in mind. It's prob They're probably going to be looking for synergy here. It's a late round pick. If you are looking for an IB, you're you're either looking for your B League team leader or you're looking for your synergy fourth player. You want somebody that's not going to ruffle the feathers of your team, but is still going to offer something for you. Yes, I absolutely agree. Uh, any notable names? Left on the draft board? Uh, probably due to you, uh, Renshi. <laughs> Uh, TJB is still on the board. Yes, lots of... TJB is a top 10 player and has fallen to the fourth round. Uh, another name I'd like to bring up um, is O'Slane. O'Slane is also uh, crazy. Um, also, yeah, Dirty Rowlet, Talatl. There's a lot of lot of good talent in this league. A lot of limited roster spots in the, in the IBL to compete for. And I'm really excited to see this competition. Um, you know, people are going to be... Um, fighting for these picks or for these roster spots, and I'm absolutely pumped to see where it goes. Absolutely. Um, I got a couple other um names here. Uh, X Apple. Um, great player. You know, we still have um Unbean, Ultimate Garrett. Uh, Tundra's a good player. Tundra's a little bit of a hot head though. Uh, we'll see how far that uh, t tanks their drops back. But we have. The Breeze Blazers pick in number 34 off to you, D. Cody. Okay, with the 34th pick of the IBL draft, the Blazers choose Tilladl. Tilladl. Kind of saw this pick coming. Getting picked up by the Breeze perfect, Blazers. Pe perfect player to go for synergy. You want somebody that's talented. You want somebody that can still do things, but you also want somebody who can do enough 
to not ruffle the team's feathers and still be there and still be a comp to play on your roster. I love the pick. Yes, I think it's an absolutely amazing pick. Um, Tolotl, I feel like this might be a little high for them, but I feel like they bring a lot to the team. I feel like um, um, there's still a lot of talent they bring to this game. Um, I think they can also play a little bit of healer. I think I've uh, sometimes in uh, my uh, playing with you stream, uh, and I think they can be a good healer for this team as well. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I I love that pick, but I do want to say I'm also gonna have to. I'm I'm gonna have to go to therapy after this one, coach. I'm I'm hurt. Hey, I have this next round pick, so um, we'll see where I take this. Uh, I'm just looking through my notes right now. All right. Um, well, Chance team has got Moss on it. It's got. Uh, who else did you draft? Hold on, I, I'm curious. Uh, Landon. And uh, Potts. So you've got Potts, Moss, and Landon. So you've got a very up-and-coming sort of team. You've got Moss as the experienced player on the roster. You've got Pot as the up-and-comer, and Landon as a guy who's got so much potential that needs to be refined. I think you. I, I think what Rising needs here is a consistent player. Like TJ would be a great pick here because you've got somebody who's who's this baseline of skill who has potential for a lot more, and is still already halfway there to being his best. Yes, and the pick is in. Off to you, D. Cody. Okay. With the 35th pick of the IBL draft, the Vine Rising picks, X Apple. Honestly, fits the uh, same niche that TJ would have fit, and I love that pick. Apple, super talented, great healer, and honestly, great comms, great person. Yes, I feel like X Apple is a very um, versatile player. Um, one thing I was also no player so that's why they did not go uh, around i feel like axe apple can bring a lot um they're a leader i feel like um them paired with um mass can help uh teach a lot of younger players and um yeah i'm super excited i'm super excited to see where my team's going so far so this looks like it's your starting roster right now we've got x apple pot and moss and landon i like this roster but you need to do some refining. It just, it's the refining of the skill of Landon and Pot that I'm most concerned with. Yeah, and I think we have a, I think we have a really, um, really um, good team. I think we have a lot of talent on this roster. Just how we um, blend. Uh, I think we have Mass playing the range game, playing that sharpshooter. Um, depending on what maps get selected, I feel like they could play the no melee range crossbow rapid fire. Um, and any crossbow, I feel like X Apple can be a nice player. And then obviously Landon, a really good sword player. They don't even need a crossbow. One thing, a lot of these elite talents require crossbows to be good. I feel like Landon, um, doesn't need a crossbow to be elite. And, uh, same with Potscar. I feel like Potscar could play the second crossbow. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, Street Sharks is up next and the pick is in. Okay. With the 36th pick of the IBL draft, the Street Sharks pick, Tundrick. Tundrick, another absolutely crazy player in this league. I, I'm scared of what they can do being a fourth round pick. But um, there is, they there is are... the elephant in the room, Chan. Temper. Yes, Temper brings the long way. Obviously, this is a no toxicity league. We will be cracking down on toxicity in game in um, Discord. Um, and obviously, it's going to work similar to a sports league. Um, this could be. Uh, um. <laughs> this could be this could lead to some suspensions um you know uh it this could is be the first talented player this, to get this is an interesting suspension. pick um i think they're a good talent but we'll have to see yes um and joey fish is going to have to you know manage their players well um really control them keep them under control all right up to draft uh next, next up we have Wolfpack with the fourth round pick uh 37 overall I wonder what route they're going to go. I'm really excited to see. Uh, we've still got super talented players left on the board. we got TJ. We've got... Uh, hold on. Let me run down the list. Let me just... Let me see. I put together a list of players who I thought could fall to the second round, and, I, and I'm and i curious to see if there's people still up there. TJ is my main one that's still on there. That's big surprising to me. Yes, of course, as we wait for this pick in, uh, we're getting close to the end of the fourth round. 
if you guys don't know, these are these are looking like starting roster players. Um, obviously, only four players can play in a game. Um, all right, we have the pick in. Um, yeah, off to you, Decody. With the thirty seventh pick in the IBL draft, Wolfpack picks glue sticks. Glue sticks. All right. Obviously, Hello. helping us out with this. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm muted. Glue sticks. Let's, <laughs> let's give you a quick up in the interview real quick. Oh, yeah, let's get an interview yeah, yeah. Is this where you expected to get drafted? Um, Yeah, is this where you – where did you expect to get drafted? Um, um, Honestly, I was I was very unsure as to where I get drafted. Uh, For one, I was like, you know, maybe maybe I'll get drafted drafted a little bit later. Maybe I'll get drafted a little bit, uh, a little bit earlier. Um, didn't know exactly where I was gonna stand. There, there's a whole, there's a whole hell of a lot of talent here. Um, I'm, yeah, it's, wow. <laughs> I'm, hey. I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited. Yes, we're excited to have you in the league. Um, do you look forward to playing under owner Alex Count X? Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely be interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I don't, I don't know them as well, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm very excited. Yes, of course. And um, warning for you really quick, he is British, so just be careful of that. Um, hope just delay making sure you're prepared for this. Um, <laughs> you're playing for an EU yeah. roster, just so you know. Uh, don't worry, I, I know a bunch of EU players. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. All right. Uh, I do have one quick, one more question for you. What do you think your mm -hmm. teammates? Um, well, oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited. Dude, I'm... <clears throat> you, you, you don't you know who no they clue. are. This is, this is gonna, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> uh, Kaioi is Kaioi is amazing. Um, Kami is also oh, just fantastic. The ton, tons of great players here. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pumped. Interested to see how that roster goes. I'm I'm interested to see what they go, the silo that that they put themselves in, and the whole of the they drafted mainly battle box players. I'm curious to see how it goes. Indeed. All right. Um, thank you for this interview. I'm uh, really looking forward to the league. All righty. Time to get back to staff, and you know the drill. Staff time. All right. All right, here, Chan. Get out of the, the AFK area. All right, just one sec. I'm responding. <laughs> oh, right. Ugh. I've just been tuned into Decody right now. I don't know how... Uh... Um, I'm getting a word from one of the owners that, um, Pande, or not, uh, Pande, uh, one of his players, too, really wants to be, um, interviewed. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have to see what, we'll, um, we'll if one of the staff want to drag Toot in. We'll, we'll, uh, drag Toot in. If Toot wants to join a VC, we'll drag him in at the, in between, uh, Nightmare's, um, picks. fourth and fifth round picks. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm tabbed out right now. I got to check. I'll uh, we do not have the next. Yes. All right. Uh, we're still waiting on pick thirty-eight by Hang Ten. Um, I'm really curious where Dom goes with this pick. And um... the pick is in. All right. I just um spoke a little too soon. Off to you, Decody. Okay, with the thirty-eighth pick of the IBL draft, Hang Ten has selected Re Renton. All right, rear rent, re re rented, re rented is a elite talent for sure. I am. Um, what crazy. are your thoughts on the pick? I I love the pick. I love re rented. He's a very well rounded player. There's not much more I can say about his play that that really doesn't just go along with the fact that he can do everything that he needs to do. I'm curious which roster he goes on though. He could be the leader of the B League team. He'll be the best player on that team unequivocally if he goes to it, or if he wants to round off the roster of the main squad yes of course we rented a heavy hitter um definitely expected him to go a little higher kind of shocked to see him this low but as we know there's a lot of there is a lot of elite talent in this league this next pick coming in from cooking with grease is a little shocking we'll pass off to you decody yep okay with the 39th pick of the ibl draft from cooking with grease they have selected